Hey guys, Drew here for Z Code System here on the YouTube channel, and this week I'm bringing to you some picks from the FA Cup fourth round, which is going to take place this weekend, starting on January the 22nd, which is Friday, and running through the weekend. Now we're going to take a look at a few games from the Friday and Saturday of the tournament, and of course you'll have to go over to Z Code System to the VIP and use the Soccer Buddy app or use the VIP wall to get up to date on those games that are going to be happening on Sunday. So good to have you back here on the YouTube channel. Thanks for clicking and watching. And uh, if you like what you see, give us a like and also subscribe to the channel so you stay up to date on everything we do here on Z Code System, whether it be football from England uh, or baseball from the US, NBA, NHL, whatever it is, stay tuned with us and we will bring you great picks with Z Code System. Now, we're going to be talking about the FA Cup fourth round. We showed you the third round. Uh, we gave you some picks for the third round, that is, uh, a couple of weeks ago when that took place, and we had some success. So we're going to bring you, again, the fourth round of the FA Cup and continue on um, going with this knockout tournament, the oldest or one of the oldest knockout tournaments in club soccer in the world. So good to have you back here. But, of course, there on your screen, you can see Z Code System blog, and you can go over there uh, anytime, all day, every day, to get information and picks for various sports that are going on around the world with a emphasis on uh, things going on in the U.S. with the NBA and the NFL. Of course, those NFL playoffs are coming up, uh, are still going on actually right now, and the Super Bowl is coming up. So um, stay tuned with us for that. And you can also see everything that we post here on YouTube and all the videos on the channel to catch up uh, on your picks for NFL or NBA or NHL or whatever it may be that you like to bet on. But of course, we're talking about the FA Cup fourth round, and I'm going to use the Soccer Buddy app, as I always do here on our videos on the YouTube channel, and I'm going to go to that right now to bring you these picks for this weekend. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got our picks for this weekend, and uh, well, we've got one for Friday night. There's only one game on Friday, January 22nd, and that is going to be Wolverhampton Wanderers visiting tiny, tiny Chorley Football Club. Now, if you aren't aware of who just who Chorley Football Club is, well, they are a non-league team, which means they are a part-time team. They're not a fully professional club, and they play in the National League, um, well down from where Wolverhampton Wanderers occupy a place in the Premier League. Um, now, Chorley did upset Championship Club Derby County in the third round, but take that with a caveat, or take that with a grain of salt, I should say. There's a caveat to that. While a lot of people will say, oh my God, they upset uh, one of the uh, bigger teams in the FA Cup, um, and it was a giant killing. Well, again, the reason for that, for the most part, was that Derby County was forced to field a team of, I believe it was under 23s, some kids uh, had to come in and play uh, teams from uh, kids from their reserves um, because of COVID-19 positive tests. And of course, things such as that are going to play havoc with the FA Cup tournament. Um, if teams have to call in players from their reserves or from their youth teams. Um, same thing happened with Liverpool and Aston Villa. Aston Villa was unable to select a first-team squad uh, for their match, and they lost to Liverpool, I believe it was 4-1 in the end. Uh, they lost that match, and they had to field a team of players who have never played in the Premier League um, previously. So keep your eye on those stories going into this when you're betting because those are probably games that you might want to wager on if a team cannot field their first team players going into these FA Cup games. Now, Chorley was able to beat Derby County. I believe in the end it was 2-0 uh, on that day and they were, you know, they were good value for that. They were good uh, good against Derby County. Um, but as I said before, um, they were playing against a very weakened squad, a weakened team. Now, Wolverhampton Wanderers won in the FA Cup third round. They defeated Crystal Palace 1-0 thanks to an Adama Traore strike. A uh, very, very lovely goal. Um, but this is a Wolverhampton Wanderers team who are uh, trending down in the Premier League table at the moment. They're not picking up wins. Um, and it goes back to star striker Real Jimenez being out for what looks like for the rest of the season after fracturing his skull back at the end of November, beginning of December. Um, and they're just struggling to score goals. So, um, score goals in the league, that is. Now, they did win in the FA Cup third round, as I said before, and they will, in my opinion, win in the FA Cup fourth round. Now, as we can see there, there is a 1-1 score line. That is the prediction from the Soccer Buddy app, and I'm going to go against this because I think Wolves are going to win this game. I think the um, the difference, the golfing class, is going to show in this game with Wolves coming out on top, and I actually like Wolves to pick up a win to nil 
in this game. Of course, Chorley are going to be very much up for this game. They're going to want to upset the uh, the bigger team, um, have a giant killing again. Um, I, I don't really think that this is going to happen. Um, you can see those odds right there, 1.114, sorry, 1.144 for Wolves and 24.0 for uh, Chorley. I think Wolves will win this game, move on to the fifth round of the tournament, and um, not actually have too much trouble with Chorley. I think they'll put this game away very quickly. Now, Keep in mind, fans are still not allowed into stadiums, and this is the type of game where uh, if fans were allowed to go to the games at Chorley, um, that could sway things in the home team's advantage. But with a, with t with fans banned right now due to the current lockdown in the UK, um, I don't see them coming out with any kind of a victory, uh, not even a draw in this game, and I think Wolves will pick up this win, and I'm going to go against the Soccer Buddy app. So that's my pick for this game. So now guys, just real quickly before because I didn't go over this earlier, if you're new to our YouTube channel, if you're new to uh, Z Code System and Soccer Buddy, by all means, check out the How It Works. You can get a video there um, when, to find out just exactly what the Soccer Buddy app does and what it, what it gives you and how it can strengthen your bets and wagering on football matches. Okay, so now I'm going to take over a look, or take a look, I guess, um, at the... Uh, Saturday the 23rd. I'm going to take a look at that. So just changing my calendar there to Saturday the 23rd. And we're going to obviously stick with the England FA Cup. And we're just going to wait for that to load. And there it is. And guess what? Uh, one of the little benefits of watching this on our YouTube channel is you get far more picks than if you just go over to the blog and uh, you got all these picks right here. Uh, and I'm just going to talk about a couple of these games um, here as we go forward. Um, yeah, we should talk about a couple of these games actually. Um, Obviously, we've got that Manchester City versus Cheltenham game there. Manchester City um, really coming on strong right now in the Premier League. They are favorites to win the FA Cup right now, according to leading sports books. And there's no reason that they will not defeat Cheltenham. Uh, this could be a bloodbath uh, in the end. And I don't even expect Cheltenham to get on the board uh, with a goal in this game. So expect Manchester City to run away with this game and to win and that scoreline to be much larger. Um, scrolling down, uh, one of the games I highlighted in our blog this week was this Blackpool versus Brighton game. And this is a very exciting game, I think, if you're a, if you're a punter, if you want to take a punt on this. Um, Brighton barely came through the FA Cup third round against Newport County. Uh, that game had to go to extra time. It was draw, uh, a draw at 120 minutes at 1-1, and they went to penalties with Brighton just edging past Newport County to get the win on penalties. Brighton are not playing well in the Premier League. They are towards the bottom of the table, fighting relegation. And this is one of those teams at this time of the year who would really rather put their focus and attention and get results in the Premier League to save their season uh, and avoid relegation rather than go deep into the FA Cup. Now, Blackpool are in League One and they are comfortable at the moment. Um, and they came into this game after beating West Brom Albion in the third round. And that game went to penalties as well. Um, but Blackpool were very good in that. And as we all know, West Brom is a Premier League team who are very near uh, Brighton in the table right now. I do fancy Blackpool in this game. I fancy them to not necessarily win in uh, regulation. Um, I could see this game going to extra time, just like their third round game did, uh, and potentially on uh, go to penalties. But I do fancy Blackpool for this. I think that this could be a, uh, an upset with Blackpool picking up a win and moving on to the fifth round. I don't think Brighton is that good of a team. I think Brighton are in very serious trouble in the Premier League. And really the only thing saving them uh, there is the fact that there are other teams who are um, worse. <laughs> There's some very bad teams right now in the Premier League this season down at the bottom of the table. Uh, and I think Brighton's poor form uh, from the league will carry over this weekend into the FA Cup. And I'm I'm going to go ahead and say I think that Blackpool will pull off an upset this weekend uh, at Brighton. So I'm picking them to get a draw perhaps in regular time and then potentially win in extra time and or on penalties. Okay, so taking another look, we've got uh, West Ham and Doncaster. Really, West Ham should come away with a win here. 2-1 uh, victory. Uh, is what we've got predicted by the Soccer Buddy app. Uh, that's a pretty good scoreline choice. Um, and I think that the Hammers will come away with a victory. Uh, moving down to the next one, we've got Nottingham Forest taking on Swansea. Uh, Swansea playing some really good football this season, and I do fancy them at home to get a win against Nottingham Forest. This is a, a clash of two teams in the championship. Uh, I think Nottingham Forest will be more focused on 
uh, their form and um, performing well in the championship, wanting to get close to the playoffs. I believe last time I checked that they were uh, well down the table uh, there in the championship. Swansea are up near the top six, and uh, I fancy Swansea to pick up a win in this game and to move on to the fifth round while Nottingham Forest consolidate and think about what they're going to be doing uh, the rest of the way in the championship. Now, to finish off today uh, in the blog, I highlighted this game as well. Sheffield United taking on Plymouth Argyle. This game going to be at Bramall Lane. Uh, Bramall Lane. And uh, recently we've seen Sheffield United really pick up their play, uh, pick up some points in the Premier League. They won in the FA Cup third round. And I, I do fancy them to pick up a win here against Plymouth Argyle. They are favorites, of course. They should be the, they're the Premier League team. Um, and um, up against a team such as Plymouth who play in League One, um, they are a superior team with much better players. So I'm backing Sheffield United in this. I do like that 2-1 scoreline. Uh, Sheffield United won in the last uh, the last round, the third round against Bristol Rovers. Uh, they won by a score of 3-2, to two, and that game uh, was uh, a game that I think that some would have highlighted as a potential upset. But Sheffield United did come, up, uh, come away with the victory in that one. So I'm backing them again to go with this a victory against Plymouth Argyle at home on Saturday and to move on to the fifth round. Even though their Premier League season may be doomed, their FA Cup run gives them a little bit of hope. So those are my picks, guys, this week for the FA Cup fourth round, which is coming to you on Friday and running out, running through the weekend. Now, on Sunday, there's going to be some big games, with the biggest being Manchester United hosting Liverpool in the FA Cup. They played last Sunday in the Premier League, uh, a league fixture, which uh, ended nil-nil. This week, they'll be playing in the FA Cup, and it'll be... Um, the managers most likely will stick with uh, the Zoom, the same, uh, the same teams, the same players, in hopes of picking up a win and moving to that fifth round of the FA Cup. So that's a big game, and you'll have to go over to uh, Z Code System and check that out on the Soccer Buddy app or on the VIP to get our picks for that game. But guys, thanks for uh, thanks for watching here on the YouTube channel. Uh, great to have you back here. If you like what you saw, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned or stay on top of everything that we do here at the website and on YouTube. So guys, good luck this weekend with your FA Cup fourth round betting, and we'll see you next week here at Z Code System.